Hi, it's Kim from More Marketing. And today I'm going to look at the advanced formatting feature in Canva. Let's quickly go over to my screen and we'll take a look. Advanced formatting covers things, as you can see, like superscript and subscript, and also does kerning and ligatures. And I will explain both of those because if like me, you're a novice at graphic design, then you wanted to know what these mean. Advanced formatting is a new feature in Canva. It came with the latest update and it's available for all levels of accounts. Let's start by looking at the very simple ones, which are superscript and subscript. And this is a really useful feature and hasn't been available on Canva before. I'm going to click on the text box and you now should see a new button, which has two options. The first one is general and the second one is typography. We'll look at the general one to begin with. And this is subscript and superscript. First of all, I have to highlight the letter or element that I want changed. I then click advanced formatting. Under the general tab, you can see I've got my superscript and subscript. I just click on that. And you can see it's straight away gone to superscript. And I'll repeat the exercise for subscript and just do that. And it does it perfectly. If I want to remove that, go back to the advanced formatting tab and click on the larger one and it goes back. As I was playing around, I found you could do something different with words as well. So let's put superscript into superscript. I'm going to highlight the script part of superscript. Go to my advanced formatting button. And click on superscript now. And you can see it's put the second half of the word. I'm now going to do the same for subscript and highlight the script part, click on my text box, highlight the element I want changed, click on my advanced formatting, and then just click subscript. And that's how easy those two are. The next thing I want to look at is the typography part of advanced formatting. Before I do that, I want to show you what kerning is. Kerning is simply changing the spacing between letters, where they don't look quite right as they are. I'm going to move this text box down and then I'm going to go to advanced formatting again. And this time I'm going to go to the typography section and Kenning would make your spacing better. And as it says here, refine the letter spacing for visual balance. But because of the advanced formatting button covers this up, I had to move it further down. I'm just going to click on that and you can see it's very subtle, but it just spaced it out a little better. And it's really useful for headings because you can see them that much more clearly. I turn it off, you can see it shrink back a little. It is a subtle effect that can really work. And I'm going to do it with this slide, which is different types of fonts on, so you can see the effect. But I'm going to click on this one, go to advanced formatting, click on typography, and then we'll click on kerning here. And you could just see, like stick it on and off, that it extended it slightly further out. As I said, it's very subtle. It's easy to turn off and on, or I can have it on the individual text box, or I can have them all and click change all. And you can see they all moved slightly then. Now to explain ligatures. This was something I wasn't too clean about, but it does make a difference. I selected this font just to demonstrate what ligatures are. And this is one called Alex Brush. And this has its own ligatures. And ligatures are basically when one part of a letter combines with another which looks quite elegant. It's a very subtle change, but does really work and can make your design look a lot more sophisticated. Let's try it on this text box. Again, click on the text box. You don't have to highlight anything. Go to advanced formatting, typography, and then ligatures. Now you have to watch closely and I'll do it a couple of times so you can see it. I think I need to pull this down so you can see it better. Where it's most noticeable is if you just look at the word with, you'll see the change. And you can see it's put the cross again through the T, through the H. It's an advanced design feature that can just lift your designs and make them that much clearer. And as it says, combines specific characters elegantly. The subscript and superscript were a well overdue change, I think, but it's great to have it now. And then on typography, kerning and ligatures. How play with them, see whether they work for you. And I'll see you next week. I hope that helped.
And if you found this video useful, then please do hit the subscribe button below and you'll know when I record a new one.